Lightning is a very dangerous and destructive weather phenomenon. Um, it's very important for people to understand that there are safe shelters during a lightning storm and there are shelters that are not considered safe. A safe structure to be in during a lightning storm would be a home or a shelter that does have electricity and or plumbing. Um, an unsafe structure would be something like a baseball dugout or a picnic shelter that doesn't have electricity and or plumbing. The structures that do not have either electricity or plumbing, the structure is what's hit and everything in it is damaged or hurt or injured if it's a person or a pet. The structures that have electricity and or plumbing, the conduits from the building will take the lightning and aid it in traveling directly to the ground. Important to note uh, for people who have pets is that a doghouse also is not a safe structure. So lightning storms come through, bring your pet inside. A safer place to be in a lightning storm would be a vehicle that does have a metal top, not a convertible. The best thing to do if you're out and about when a lightning storm starts up and you're in your vehicle is to just pull, a, pull over, pull aside, and um, ride the storm out. You're safe in the vehicle and it's really not so safe to continue driving because if the lightning strike is close enough to you, if it's large enough, it can actually temporarily blind you, making driving you know, very unsafe. So just pull over, ride the storm out, and then be on your way when the lightning moves on. If you are in your home during the lightning storm, there are a few things that you can do to help you stay a little safer in that environment. One, stay away from the plumbing. Don't take a shower, don't wash dishes, don't wash your hands. Um, stay away from the windows and doors. Stay off your porch and stay inside the home. Don't use a corded phone. It's okay to use cell phones or phones that are cordless, but don't use them while they're being charged. If you are outside and you see an individual has been struck by lightning, be very careful yourself. Immediately call 911. Use a phone that's not corded. A cell phone is fine. Tell the dispatchers the best location that you can for that person. Get to them, but be careful. If they're not breathing, if they're unconscious, start CPR immediately. Both the National Fire Protection Association and the American Meteorological Society have standards in place discussing uh, lightning protection systems for homes, but it is important to remember that no system is perfect. In making it safer, lightning rods and their use are a method of directing lightning to making a least resistive path to ground. Uh, lightning is unpredictable and it's going to go wherever it wants to go. So whether protection is in place such as a lightning rod, it, and, I, and let me back up, it, I won't call it protection. It's a least resistant path to ground. Uh, it doesn't necessarily protect anything. As I said, lightning is going to take whatever course it desires to take when it's uh, traveling from the sky through the air into the ground. Uh, but in order to protect your household appliances and electronics, there are items out there that exist for surge protection, uh, whole house surge protectors, and the installation of lightning rod system. There are methods of retrofitting existing properties, but as with anything else, if it's planned on the front end, it can be planned in a manner that can be part of the system, most of which in the new installations, you probably won't even see that they're there. As far as practicality, I guess it all boils down to how much someone's willing to spend. And one of the things that I found interesting was the, uh, electricians, for instance. They're not usually ones that are uh, usually trained in lightning protection. Lightning protection is a separate standard. Uh, NFPA 70 is the National Electrical Code, the standards that electricians and people working with electricity, those are the standards they follow. For lightning protection, those standards actually fall under NFPA 780. And usually those are people who, there are people out there that specialize solely in the installation of lightning rod systems.